Hi everybody, and welcome back to Lord of the Rings Online. We are back in the Troll Shaws, right? We're um, we're working on this Bingo Boffin quest. He wants us to kill dangerous creatures at the High Moor or Giant Valley. I'm not really interested in killing giants right now. I don't know if we can handle that. Uh, so we're going to kill some, some High Moor Badgers, right? And hopefully we can take these guys out. I don't think they're too tough. They're like... Bigger than bigger than Al, but um, I think we can take him. Uh, so while we're doing this, I kind of wanted to take a moment and just talk about how things are going with the channel. Um, not necessarily with the channel, but I guess more my life. Um, right now, you could probably tell my voice is a little ragged. Um, I am sick and dealing with allergies, and also um, we're we're looking forward to the birth of our second kid. Um, he's coming soon. He's gonna pop out. Um, so we're just kind of waiting at this point uh, to see when it happens. Uh, but when that happens, things could get a little interesting with the channel. I am trying to get ahead on my videos right now um, without much luck. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little bit ahead, which is good. But uh, I mean, if anything goes wrong, you know, and like my evening doesn't pan out like it's supposed to, then I, I don't get as much work done. Uh, on the videos and of course then I'm not getting ahead and then there's gonna be there's gonna come a time when uh, <laughs> when there's no videos left to to upload um, but I'm going to do my best to get the videos done to get them uploaded for uh, for when the baby comes because obviously I'm not gonna be able to de dedicate as much time to making videos when I've got a, a screaming child a little human uh, who needs my attention um, so I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna do my best. Uh, if if things go poorly, then I'll I'll post a video, some kind of update or something, just to let you guys know how things are going and uh, let you know when you can expect more videos, uh, like Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm finishing up Ori in the Blind Forest right now, and also of course we got the new series Stardew Valley, which is going pretty well. Have a lot of fun with that. Um, but of course Lotro might be what you care about the most, and that's fine. Um, and I'm and I'm gonna keep putting out these videos um, Hopefully, you know, hopefully as long as I keep having fun with them, and I'm obviously having fun I love this game. I've played it for a long time for years and years uh, So potentially this series could go on for a very long time uh, Which I'm okay with I mean as long as people are interested if nobody wants to watch it then then you know I don't have to make these videos. I can just play it on my own um, And you guys don't have to watch me, but I, I think people are enjoying it so um, what are we doing? Back back to the task at hand. We are killing these creatures. They're very dangerous. Badgers, apparently. Uh, I don't know if I've ever encountered a badger in real life, but, um, apparently they are, you know, the size of a full-grown man, full-grown hobbit at least, and, uh, very, very dangerous. Um, so here, look, we're entering into Giant Valley. It's like right down here, right? And we're also looking for this mysterious Onod, the wild and elusive Onod in his natural habitat. Is around here somewhere? Is this one of the creatures? Oh yeah, this is one of the creatures we have to kill. The Chittering Dark Claw. Um, oh man, look at this! Enraged Mountain Drake. It starts a quest. Oh my gosh! I don't know if I want to fight him. He looks pretty tough. Maybe we can just like sneak by him. Oh. Did he hear me? Hey. Hey, look how enraged. Oh my gosh. This is so scary. Why is he just staring at me like that? He knows I'm here. There's also a, a creeper. A little creeper. They're not as tough. They're not as tough. But um, let's try and sneak around him. We'll take out this. Gosh, the worm's tough too. Jeez. Should we take the creeper out? Let's, let's try to take the, the Fen Creeper Binder out. And uh, hopefully this Drake isn't going to sneak up behind me in the meantime. Oh, man. And and maybe the Onod is like around here somewhere. The wild, leafy Onod. Is that what he is? Is he an Ent? I think. There we go. Foul Hounds. Defeat Bog Lurkers. Oh! A Summoned Root. Oh cool, this is also one of the dangerous creatures that I can defeat. Perfect, we're like almost done with this quest. Um, awesome. Let's, oh gosh, this guy. He keeps moving around, come on. Just, just take a seat. He's really big, isn't he? 
Oh, he kind of slinks around too. He's pretty cool actually. That's really cool. Um, here we go. The clawing rockworm. He's a little bit tougher. Let's see if we can find... Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. Um, man. Is the, uh... Here, let's look at the map. Oh, it says he's like right here. Oh! Oh, man! He's a wood troll. The Onadrim. He's like a fiery wood troll. Oh, man. Look at him. Just huge. He's a pretty intense looking guy, actually. Oh. He's stretching. Having a little stretch. Let's let's talk to him. The Onod stares at you with expressionless eyes. Its bark-like skin is coiled with corruption. And its mouth opens and closes soundlessly. Suddenly, the deep wells of its eyes ripple with anger. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Oh no! We need we need to reveal his weaknesses. Oh man! Oh my gosh! He's trying to step on me. Uh oh! Interrupt. Where's the interrupt? There we go. Perfect. That's he keeps like stomping on me like a troll, like a big mean troll. Oh and then, oh no! Are you gonna help me out? Is she gonna help me, Sherilyn? You like my moves? You like my sweet burglar moves? Yeah? Are you gonna... Oh, there. She, she threw, like, one spear. We have defeated the wood troll! Shall I cheer? Let's cheer for her. Yay! Oh, we actually... Com I collected the writing parchment. I also finished the quest. We could kill more of these bog lurkers. Oh, look, she's done. She's done with her quest. She's out of here. Uh, should we kill... Kill more bog lurkers? These foul hounds. It's a level 39 repeatable quest, actually. Wow. I guess we can just kind of leave it for now. The music has gotten really spooky, actually. Is it because of these drakes? Oh, look. He's preparing for liftoff. Is he going to lift off? No, no. He's not. He's not. Are they like... Are they like ducks? No, not ducks. What is the bird that, like, can't fly? <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Like, the, the one, the kind of, are drakes, like, just dragons that don't fly? They just have the wings, they're like, oh, uh-oh. That was a bad idea. Oh, and this guy's red, level 41. Okay, let's, look, let's hide in plain sight. We're out of here. Actually, we could take out this creeper, this, uh, this bog lurker right now. Um, while we're here, I mean, we, we might as well get like a third of the way through this quest. And then we need to go back and talk to Elodin, and we also need to talk to Bingo. And these quests are way above us, but, um, I think it's okay at this point. We're, we're, we're doing okay. Um, if we kind of run into a wall again, uh, leveling wise, then, then we can go back and revisit some of these quests. And there's also a lot of quests down in Talbruinen, uh, which... I cannot remember exactly what level those quests are, but they gotta be somewhere, like around level 36, level 37, right? That kind of area? Uh, if not, well, there's always somewhere to quest. There's always somewhere to quest, and we'll figure it out together, alright? Let's go back to Thornhead, talk to Elodin, let him know that we found the Onod, and he was not a nice guy. He was actually pretty mean, and he didn't tell us anything about the Black Rider. Alright, is that Legolas? Hey, buddy. Okay, Elodin, we are back with uh, with no news at all, seemingly. What can I do for you? The tree herders of old were peaceful and more wont to stand unnoticed among the trees than treat with strangers with peace or violence. Our problems may be more far-reaching than I had supposed. All right. Mind my words, traveler. He wants us to go back and talk to Elrond. A small company of elves from Mirkwood came to Imladris to consult with my father. Perhaps one of them will know what manner of creature you faced. Speak with my father to arrange an audience. Okay, we're doing it, Elodin. We're gonna take a quick trip back to Rivendell. How can I be of service? We will swiftly travel there. Thank you, Breg Labor. So, Bilbo is proud of the account he has written so far and wants to see what Bilbo... Oh, Bingo is proud of the account he has written so far and wants to see what Bilbo Baggins, noted author and adventurer, thinks of his manuscript. 
This is kind of cheating though, don't you think? Because really, I'm the one writing this manuscript right now, not Bingo. I'm just like taking notes. I guess he's gonna like make it look, you know, all nice and use like flowery words and, and make it sound poetic and, and I mean, we all know Bilbo loves poetry. Uh, he's kind of a weird hobbit in that sense. <laughs> so maybe he'll appreciate that. Maybe he'll appreciate Bingo's work. Um, but honestly, I'm doing a lot of the legwork. Very good, my friend. This will add some spice to my account. Look, Bilbo will not believe how flowery my description will be now. A lovely day, isn't it? You must be speaking in jest, Alcott. That is what Bingo took away from my feedback concerning his account of the journey. I did not mean that at all. What is really important is how the writer conveys to the reader the experience of the adventure. Wait. I am most interested in how the journey made Bingo feel, not the number of dangers he faced or the quantity of adjectives he uses to describe the places he found. Okay. Tell him not to worry about the reception to his book or he will never write another sincere word. My journey has only just begun. Where should we go next? I will try to come up with some way to thrill my future readers and I hope you will think on it as well. I have come to Rivendell but my journey has only just begun. Where should we go next? And I can get... Uh, I like the open-minded. I like that. I do not want to lull my future readers to sleep. Nice. So we're going to the Misty Mountains next. A snowy climb, level 42. Well, that is a ways away. That's like six levels away. So we'll come back to that eventually. I think Bilbo has a quest for us too in the Misty Mountains. Uh, but we'll come back to that some other time. For now, we need to go talk to Elrond. And uh, let him know about the Onod. And uh, apparently there's someone from Merkwood that we need to talk to. Could it be young Legolas? Legolas the elf? Legolas with the daggers? That like surfs down stairways on, on the backs of shields and like down an elephant's trunk? An oliphant's trunk rather? Could it be that Legolas? No? Will you lend me your aid once yes. More? Speak with Legolas, son of Thranduil, in one of the guest rooms along the road that winds up the southern slope of the Vale of Imladris. Perfect. We can go talk to Legolas. Our first, I think that this will be like our first actual conversation with him, which is pretty cool, actually. Uh, it's nice to finally talk to him, to talk to some of these main characters, get to know them, and uh, it'll be really cool. I'll be sad when they leave Rivendell. That'll be a sad day for sure. Um, but for now, we'll go talk to Legolas. All right, here we are back in the guest rooms on December 24th. Fantastic. Christmas Eve. That's great. Legolas? What do you need? Hail to you, Alcott. If you did not bring such dire news, I would greet you more heartily, but your tidings are troubling. Okay, they're talking about a tribe of trolls, and they called the creatures wood trolls. That's the Onod that we met. Something caused them to join together. A king was raised among them, and he unified the wood trolls into a terrible force. I believe something has once again united the wood trolls of the Trollshaws, Alcott, but this place is far from Mirkwood. My father's warriors will not avail us. Will you lend me your ear? Oh my gosh. Book 4, Chapter 8, The Unmarked Trail. This is a fellowship quest, but I think we can do it. Yeah, we could do it solo. Oh my gosh. Can we handle this? We're almost level 37. We must track the wood trolls to their lair, Alcott, if we are to cleanse the corruption that scars the troll shots. I can take you to them. Speak with me when you have gathered such friends as you can trust, and are ready to be led into the wild in search of the wood trolls and the evil power I fear may be their ally. Oh my gosh. We will accept this quest. We can get some sweet trousers. Some sweet, sweet trouser trousers. Trousers? Trousers. Also a knife. Nice shiny dagger. Right? Okay, we'll accept this quest. Next time, maybe we'll, we'll have a go at it. We'll have a go at this level 40 quest. If it's possible, we shall do it. If it's not, then we'll figure out something else to do, okay? So until then, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great night. Cheers! Cheers.